This short video will detail how to add a PAX destination or a network destination to your GE Lightspeed Series CT scanner. To get started, click on the ImageWorks tab. It is located on the top left corner of your right side monitor. If an old image populates, you can click on the browser button to close your window and open your image archive browser. If images from your archive browser have not been previously viewed, your image archive browser will populate. Now that your image archive browser has populated, you can click on your network tab to populate a drop down menu. Scroll down and click on Selected Remote Host. Your remote host list will populate. This is where you can add, remove, or edit network destinations. Click on the Add button to enter network information in the new window, labeled Remote Host Parameters. Enter your AE title in the Host Name field, and it will automatically duplicate into the AE Title field. Enter your IP address in the field labeled Network Address. The Network Protocol field automatically defaults to DICOM. Enter your network port number in the field labeled Port Number. Before moving forward, double check all of your network values. Recommended port number on GE systems is port number 4006 or port number 104. Now we have all of our network values entered. We can leave the comments section blank. For your archive node option, you can click on yes. Send images, yes. Query retrieve images, yes. Custom search off. Click save to close your window and save your network settings. Highlight your new network destination in your remote host list and click OK to accept. Click on the network tab at the top of your image archive browser and make sure your new PAX destination is listed under selected remote host. Once verified, click on ping DICOM host. If both of your network destinations are on and connected to your network, you will receive a notification that says your DICOM host is alive. Your CT system is now ready to start sending images to your new network destinations. Please click the like button if this video was a helpful resource, and consider subscribing for more radiology related content.